Next, we're hitting a topic that's close to every parent's heart, the well-being of their little ones. And while we know that kids are these incredible bundles of resilience and potential, that stuff does impact them too. Teaching them the art of self-care from an early age could be the secret to unlocking a lifetime of joy, positivity, and emotional well-being. She's the author of Love Yourself Happy, A Journey Back to You. We'll unpack some strategies for kids in self-care together with our guest today, Sherry Elise. Welcome, Sherry. We're happy to have you back on the show. Thanks. I'm thrilled to be back here with you today. So tell us, why is self-care for kids so important, especially right now? It's crucial right now. Um, the National Institute of Mental Health says that one in five children experience mental, some kind of mental disorder. Kids are under so much pressure right now and so many challenges. And so being able to take care of themselves, learning how to take care of themselves will help manage the stress and reduce the risk of them developing things like anxiety and depression. Yeah, so let's walk through this. Talking about emotions, how can parents have those important conversations with their children? Well, first, emotional intelligence, which is EQ, is something that is so important for children to develop. We often think about physical self-care, but our emotional self-care is just as important. And what that is, is really giving your child a safe place to be able to express themselves, validate their feelings, listen to them. And what that does is that empowers them to be able to, you know, talk about their emotions in the future and be okay with them. Yeah, and if we start these practices now, we're going to create those good habits in the future to, like you said, openly communicate emotions and not keeping everything in. What are some self-care techniques that parents can start using to boost their child's emotional intelligence? Well, there's a few techniques. Uh, one of them is encouraging downtime for your kids because they're often so much on the go. They're in their devices. They're doing all the things. And so just you know, creating the space of introspection for them. So, you know, talk to them about laying down and watching the clouds go by, having them reading, um, self-awareness practices. So having them journal, uh, you know, really just mindful exercises and play. Play is a great way to be able to help your children uh, really get in tune with their emotional intelligence. Yeah, we wanna make sure we're not just talking the talk, we walk the walk. So like you mentioned, if our kids, if kids are seeing their parents do these acts, in incorporating self-care, they're gonna wanna do what their parents are doing. They're sponges, so if they see it, they'll kind of start taking that a part of their day to day. And you mentioned that playtime is the language of childhood and a key part of the package. Can you break that down a bit more? Yeah, absolutely. So when we play with our kids, when we create that time together, what it does is that it opens yourself up to bond with your child. And games like EQ Joy, which is really just a card game that, you know, helps them label and express their emotions, play, you know, be able to manage what it is. And for that, you know, it gives children the tools that they need to be able to express themselves, to be able to label their emotions. Um, you know, it's not just about learning, but it's also about that time that you spend together in play. Yeah, and it's great that we're able to help kids say their emotions through a game of play. They're seeing it as something fun and they're also building on those skill sets. So that's great. What message would you like to share with our viewers about why weaving self-care and emotional intelligence into children's lives is really a game changer? So we hear self-care, we hear emotional intelligence, and they're not just buzzwords. When we take the time to teach our kids self-care and for them to take care of their emotional and physical and mental health, it will change their future. It will be an investment in themselves, their well-being, their joy, uh, and just really their whole entire lives. All right, Sherry Elise, thank you so much for joining us today. And you can find out more about Sherry's work by going to eqjoy.org.